Take a quick guess, who am I? If you guess 2016 hipster, pretty close, but it's Han Solo. This is the best I can do. Honestly, Justin, this is the best. Christine is adapted from a Stephen King novel of the same name, who is a bit of a nerd and one day is driving past an old house with his young friend and sees this broken down red car. He buys the car for about $250 and its name is Christine. Well, he fixes the car up against his parents' will and quickly becomes obsessed with the car to where it is changing his personality and his overall look on life. He becomes so obsessed with the car that people that are bullies to him start dying around him and people are concerned that he is spending too much time with this car. I've never seen Christine. All these movies that I've reviewed this Halloween I have never seen but Christine is one that I was really really kind of intrigued by but also a bit worried because I don't know if I really want to watch a movie about a haunted car going around killing people. I mean how far can it really go? But this movie really, really surprised me. I really, really liked this film. The young boy in here, Arnie, reminded me a lot of Peter Parker, and the progression really reminded me of Spider-Man 3. Peter Parker is a nerd, and then he gets the Venom things all over his body, and he starts to turn dark, and he's got that hair, and he's really mean to everybody. That's kind of how Christine is. The young boy is really nerdy, wears glasses, starts driving Christine, doesn't need glasses anymore, has sleek hair. He dresses like a rocker and just really hates everybody. And that's, I thought of Spider-Man 3. But to my surprise, a movie about a haunted car and a young boy driving this car become really obsessed with it had a really haunted tone to it. This was a film that did not need to answer anything. We did not get any answer of how Christine became so haunted and does she have a mind of her own? We never got any of those answers and I'm perfectly okay with that because it added another level to this car and this movie, like another mysterious level to it. The movie opened up really nicely in the 50s and Christine and some things that had happened then it jumps forward to the 80s or 70s or 80s and the young boy discovering the car, people saying, you know, this car is broken down and people have died in it and yada, yada, yada. And I like the little backstory and, you know, the creepy level of Christine and still this young boy is really intrigued by it. So right off the bat, they set up this tone of Christine as something to not mess around with. Don't buy this car. Don't do it. But I really like that about this movie and the tone is really dark and definitely sets this horror Halloween vibe to it. I thought the progression of this young boy was really great from someone who was bullied to being pretty much the bully in the movie. And I loved the soundtrack. The soundtrack reminded me a lot of Halloween and, you know, just simple people walking down the street and having that creepy Halloween horror music going on in the background. And again, it, and it kind of gives you chills watching it and that's what this movie did a lot of was the car driving, people walking around, it's got that creepy Halloween music going for it. So Christina is definitely a film that I really enjoyed watching. Surprisingly, because it's a film about a car and it's haunted. So I'm gonna go ahead and give Christine an A. The car is pretty cool too. I would own a car like that if it didn't kill people. So thank you guys for checking out my third Halloween movie review. If you guys have not checked out my first two, that is Invasion of the Body Snatchers and Reanimator with my good friend 22 Tiger Dude. Like I said, I always try to have a new outfit. Uh, I had two outfits before this, and this is my attempt at a Han Solo outfit. But I'm having a lot of fun watching these movies and a lot of fun discussing them with you. So, this is Justin Watches Movies, and you stay spooky, YouTube.